a great musician, a real historical figure, you know, from the Cambridge scene in the late 50s, uh, all the way through Brazil, and now uh, working on some other great stuff in Europe, the Texas Sheiks, all kinds of great things. Uh, please, cell phones, and uh, hey, here's all. Turn off. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, okay, without further ado, please welcome Jeff Moldar.
about the, when the stage isn't raised? The lions are coming in. <laughs> about as low as you can get on this instrument. <laughs> it's really hard. Well, it didn't start in the late 50s. But uh, early 60s.
go, gee, baby, ain't I good to you? It's a, it's a ballad that was done by a very important group that Ken Burns skipped over in the history of jazz, but we forgive him, but let's call them McKinney's Cotton Pickers, a guy named Don Redman. And they, they, uh, they would play on a Saturday night in Detroit to maybe five, 7,000 people dancing. And across town, in the white part of town, was Gene Goldcat's orchestra with Big Spiderbeck. And they were playing five to 7,000 people. And Gene Goldcat managed the uh, McKinney's Cotton Pickers, so he had, it, he had it going on. And then they went to New York. Later did this with Amos Garrett and Ron Carter. And I'll admit I didn't even know who he was when he walked in the studio. It's so embarrassing. And I just recorded this with my chamber ensemble in uh, Amsterdam. So I keep changing the arrangement.
very nice, but I'm going to play the banjo anyway. <laughs>
Then he goes to the pop filter room. It's <laughs> down in the basement.
find that graveyard somewhere. We're down Highway 90, not feeling old So please, Mr. Policeman, please put me in your jail. Well, please, Mr. Policeman, please put me in your jail. I got to get me some rest before I get back on the trail. They didn't like us. They, they, they didn't get it. Uh, 
When Spike Jones came to hear us, he walked out. I didn't think we were razzmatazz enough or something. I don't know. That all changed within a couple of years. But uh, but this one guy, well, when we did the last set that week, we used to play for a week, and we did the last set that week lying down in protest. How <laughs> <laughs> square are these people? <laughs> but, but during the week, a guy came up to our dressing room and, and he, he put his head in and he went, Ah, I like the no shtick shtick. <laughs> Hollywood. <laughs> He knew no stick stick was going to make it. <laughs>
Thank mm-hmm. you. 
much, which I don't like to do. It's a different timing for this set than I usually do, so I didn't know what time it was. Okay. I, look my own. I don't want to do that because I don't like it. And this started with Muddy Waters at the Club 47. I, this broke my heart. He's coming to the end of one. Coming to the end of the tune, like. She had the knife. She had the knife. She had the knife. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> That's when I knew that God was working through him.
is the way to begin H, the next letter in I am the third C, for the season the bird K, is to fill him in E, I'm near the end C-H-I-C-K-E-N That's the way you spell chick Before my time, 
<laughs> he wrote this tune with Rick Danko from the band. It's called Small Town Talk. <laughs>